Good morning, everybody. It's Anna. Um, so as you guys know, I went to Wade's Orchids over the weekend for his Orchid Open House. Um, had a very great time. Chris from Growing Things came, April Ario. Uh, her channel's just April Ario. And then, uh, of course, Wade and everyone had a great time. Um, not so many people stopped by when I was there, but I guess Friday he had about 10 people come. And someone drove up from D.C. to Middleburg, Pennsylvania, so I don't know how that was, but I hope they got some great plants. I know I did! Woo! Um, I brought this pop crate with me to bring plants to share with them, and I was like, oh, I'll only get a couple plants. Only a couple. It came back just as full, if not more, because some of them are smaller. Um, so <laughs> let's get started. Let me unpack this really quick. I didn't realize how many I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I think 16. Jeez. Okay, so let's start with some fun ones. Um, this is the Orcaholics Anonymous project plant. I finally got mine, guys. This is from H&R Nursery, and Wade was kind enough to get it for everybody. <clears throat> it looks like there's some damage on it, but I don't know looks healthy enough to me. Um, doesn't look like any new growth has come out recently, so it's probably getting reestablished to the pot. It's a pretty big pot, but it will be happy. I also bought this when Wade was ordering some plants online from, I think, uh, the H&R Nursery again. And it's a, uh, I can never say its name, Grand Maltonophyllum something. Now this one is going to be my largest by far orchid, so hopefully I can get a greenhouse. It has, um, crazy pseudobulbs and even crazier roots. I can't get this back in. There we go. The roots come up and kind of form like this kind of cute, uh, hidden, hiddenness. So it's looking pretty good. Really excited about that one. And some little things that uh, I got from Wade. I got this is a little Dendrobium Kingianum Purple Queen. This was just a cakey, and this is a very good example of when it's a good time to separate your cakeys. Let them have a few growths on them. That way they'll flourish instead of kind of just depend on just that one little, one little nub. So this guy was very bulby, and I'm really excited because a lot of the Kingianums I see are more tall and skinny. This one had fat pseudobulbs at the base pretty cool. And this was a Bubba Phylum Jan Reagan. It was uh, a pseudobulb that uh, kind of was just hanging out and just kind of gave it to me. So that guy will be happy. Happy, happy. <laughs> when we're in the Bubba Phylum. No. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's another one. Bubba Phylum Lung Glass. Lung. Lung. Something. I really need to learn these names before I start talking about them. I know this one's really pretty. Um, the flower, I can't remember what it looked like, but I'm excited for that one. I love bubble phylums. And while we're on the topic, he said if I ever needed help with the flasks, uh, to let him know. So I brought a flask for him to save. It was the, um, that one. <laughs> munch, munch. It's okay. Oh. Hold on. So, this one, I have not been doing very well. I packed it wrong, basically. Um, he said to put most of it kind of under bark and it'll be, uh, the roots will take better. So there's a layer of bark, moss, it's on top of there, then bark is put on. And this is the ortho palm. palm. That's kind of like the bobo phalaenopsis in its growth patterns, real deep, big purple flowers. And then I got this little Tolumnia, little in love Tolumnia. This is golden sunset times bill. So we'll see what color this one is. It's a mystery. I'm guessing it might be a little golden. And this was part of, he just had plugs of it. So we just put it in this little pot with some bark. So it dries out super quick. Um, 
And then this is a little division of his, uh, I say dendrochillum, it's dendrochylum, but I think it's funner to say it the other way. And I love these little guys, they're the, like, uh, little spindly orchids, very, very cute. Pleurothallus. See if that'll pick up spelling on it. It's kind of weird out right now. And this guy's a flower. See a little, little flower spike. I'll let you guys give you a better video when it's in flower. That guy is water lover. I'm pretty sure water, water, water. And these are some of the seedling catlias that I got. Um, uh, this one is super cute, um, and I think he said this one's going to stay small. And these are some of the Catlias that he was offering, uh, I think they're $12 for these little seed lanes. And they're very healthy, that one's got a new shoot coming up. This one's roots are crazy. This one is tropical pointer cheetah times circle of life strawberry moon. So hopefully some pink in spots. And this one too has a very nice new shoot coming up. And he takes such care of his plants. Like, he grows them on for as long as it takes before he can sell them. Like, if these had no roots, he wouldn't sell them. Like, he makes sure they're well established, not all wonky in the pot, which is great. This is its newest growth right here. And this is... I'm not going to say that one, guys. But this one's going to be a green. I love green Catlias. I like green flowers in general, though, so. That's not hard to beat. Green, green, green. Uh, and this one, this is its newest growth. Very pretty and very cute little roots growing all over. That one. And yeah, I wish I remembered some of the flowers, but I was so excited. Orchid overload. And then uh, this is the last one that I got from him. This is a very fat, 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 bald dendrobium. And you know, I love it so much. There's a root that comes up all the way up here. You see right there, it's wrapping up. It's got roots coming out all over. Such a happy guy. Hopefully I'll keep it happy too. Um, I gotta look it up. Ooh. I can't actually get it out. So that'll be a project. Um, so I'm gonna give it another year. This is its newest growth. Right here. Uh, and once it becomes out of the pot, then I will repot it. But the roots are all happy and crazy, and if you feel it, it is jam-packed in there. And, um, I don't know what the flower looks like, but I'm one of those people that don't really care when I have such an interesting plant. Um, yeah, that's, that's me, though, so. And now the last two were, um, Steve, I forget his last name, he came up. He lives about an hour or 45 minutes away from Wade's. He does uh, speaking engagements every so often. I'm going to try to get him to the Greater Cleveland Society. But um, these are seed-grown orchids, some of them they had, so he's been raising for a very long time. And they're finally flowering size and whatnot. So this is a Selogeny. I don't think I'm saying that right, but it's Eurexes, X Y R E K. Yes. And this was last repotted 515. Now the plant you might say it looks a little rough, but look at this flower. Now it's not picking up that well. It's about the same color I am, very pink, uh, very, very sweet, and it's got black markings. Let's see if it'll. It's got a black lip. And it is just so stunner. And it's not really picking up the hues of this leaf as well. It's also very pink. I don't know if you can tell the difference between... Yeah, you can. See, this one looks a little uh, browner on camera than the other ones that are green. So that's his newest growth. And it kind of flowers from 
between the leaf before it fully develops. I don't know if it will flower from old leaves. You never know. But, uh, so that one is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> and also it's a sequential bloomer. So that one will form and bloom for me soon after this one fades. And it looks like a butterfly as I'm shaking it about. Well, maybe a moth. <laughs> and this one I'm very excited about. This is the last orchid. This one is one of those um, fuzzy wuzzies with little black furs and it's from New Guinea. And uh, he said it's hard to grow. And I'm like, challenge accepted. Okay. Oh, here's it. It's Fishing Creek Orchids. His name is not on here, but that's him. Super awesome guy. Very nice. And this is a Dendrobium Tabanese Vergatum. Vergatum. See if that'll show up. Boop, 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 boop. Um, so I gotta look it up. But it is breathtaking in flower. It is in bud right now, and uh, it looks like a dragon, almost, a dragon with its tongue that comes out, and we'll see. I'm going to keep this sucker alive, come hell or high water. Um, I've been doing really good with my dendrobiums. I haven't lost any of them in about two years, so i got to look up some more specifics for this one, uh, like if it needs like a significant cool rest. Uh, what kind of water redu water reducing, all that other fun stuff. Um, one of the fun things that I learned, sorry to make this so long guys, but he was telling us, um, depending on the elevation, what, where they're originally from, the lower the elevation, the lower quality water that you can get away with, the higher the elevation, the more water purity that you need because of the way everything kind of happens, like the purest water is up here, and then the kind of crappier water down here, so maybe that's the key. But um, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I'm going to try to post some clips from Wade's orchids. We never really got around to doing a real official video. There was just so much going on and having so much fun. Um, but thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much, family, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!